Hi everybody, this is Patricia Velasquez and don't go anywhere because Profiles is coming right up. Welcome to Profiles, I'm Desi Sanchez. Today's guest is beautiful Venezuelan actress and model Patricia Velasquez, fresh from competing in this season's Celebrity Apprentice, where she made it through week six. Although her career has been quite versatile, Patricia might be best known for her role as Anuxa Namun in the global blockbusters The Mummy and its sequel, The Mummy Returns. After a short break, we'll join our host, Mickey Burns, as he welcomes actress and supermodel Patricia Velasquez to Profiles. Welcome back to Profiles. I'm Desi Sanchez. In the late 80s, Patricia Velasquez participated in the Miss Venezuela pageant and took second place. That launched a modeling career that had her appearing in ads for Chanel, Barino Fragrance, and Victoria's Secret. Later, she would become internationally recognized for her appearance in several issues of Sports Illustrated's annual swimsuit edition. And in 2002, she was ranked number 45 on Maxim's Hot 100 Women of the Year. So let's join our host, Mickey Burns, on location from the Iroquois Hotel in the heart of New York City as he welcomes the charming Patricia Velasquez to Profiles. <laughs> Patricia Velasquez, welcome to our show Profiles. Thank you. Did I pronounce your last name right? It's perfect. I like that. And it's very rare, actually. It doesn't happen. Well, for our viewers, you are an actress, supermodel, and most recently a contestant on The uh, Celebrity Apprentice. Mm -hmm. You did pretty good. I mean, you made it pretty far uh, down the line, but now when you reflect back, how, how would you assess that experience? Well, look, I think unlike the other contestants, which many of them happen to become really close friends now, yeah, yeah. This is, I, I went to Celebrity Apprentice to fight for the Why Utaya Foundation, which is a foundation that I personally started 10 years ago. Yeah. I was one of these kids that was able to get out of the Wayu village in the border between Venezuela and Colombia. Yep. So I had a very personal relationship in terms of Celebrity Apprentice and the exposure that it was going to give to Why Utaya because I needed Wayutaya to be known by those 12 million people that are watching Celebrity Apprentice. From that experience as a celebrity, what did you learn most from, from being on that, that program? I learned two things. I learned how do you can really accomplish things in a time where you think it's not possible. You That's can. Yeah, yeah. Um, you know, to put tasks together in 24 hours that are of such a magnitude and yeah, then you get yeah. them done. It, it, now I'm working after that, I'm getting things done quicker. Really? I walked away with that, yes. And then the second thing is, I think in terms of humanity, yeah. you know, when we have a goal and we want to achieve our goals, how far are you willing to go in order to achieve that goal? What, yeah. is, what are the right reasons for it? Is it just to win? And because you want to win, you're going as far as maybe telling lies or, or taking credit for things you haven't done. It really has taught me, not from everybody, just a couple yeah, people, yeah. but it really has taught me how great it is to be truthful to yourself, to stick to your truth, and to not get out of it in a dishonest way when you're trying to pursue a goal. Well said. You were not willing to compromise your dignity no. to win. No. Others might. Yes. And not everybody, by the way. So others the, might. the big Some majority, might. the most of the majority, I mean, they're my friends now, so they didn't do that. Okay. Now, although your career has been quite versatile, mm -hmm. uh, you might be best known for your role as Anuk Sunamun. Yes. I got it right. Yes, you did. Uh, <laughs> and of course, I love that movie, The Mummy and The Mummy Returns. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, when you were making both of those films, uh, did you feel that they would be as successful as they became? Not only I had no idea these movies were going to be so big, I had no idea I was going to work in such a big movie. Oh, you didn't? No. I was in Los Angeles. I went to a general meeting with the head of uh, the casting at Universal. Her yes. name was Joanna Colbert at uh -huh. the time. 
I walked in and, you know, we chat who I am. That's mm -hmm. it, a general meeting. I walk away. The day after I'm hearing, I'm going to London to shoot in this movie. Right. Now, in The Mummy, this great movie, to the, to the delight of millions, you wore nothing but, a, but body paint and mm -hmm. jewelry. Uh, how long did, did it take to complete that process? 13 hours to get that painting on. Unbelievable. I had to stand for 13 hours. They made this tiny little chair where I could sit in. Yeah. And I had to keep the painting on. And sure. I actually got a little sick, but you know, at that point they knew they had to leave like holes you know, in your back so that your skin can breathe. Right, um, right. And um, it was pretty, I remember I used to go to, like, if, if there was a weekend, and of course we weren't shooting. Yeah. I put clothes on, but I had these tattoos up to here. So <laughs> yeah. people looked at me like, man, that girl has gone through pain. Yeah, <laughs> and I read somewhere that you weren't allowed to shower, no. like, for 10 days? No, 10 days I couldn't shower. Yeah, 10 days I couldn't shower. I could only sit in this little thing, and then I had to sleep with special pajamas on, and... Uh, it was pretty. Uh, it was pretty hard. Hard for the second mummy, though. For the yes. mummy returns, which went on for three months. Yes. Um, they, we didn't, they didn't do it that way. Now, in the in the sequel, uh, <clears throat> the Mummy Returns, uh, you had an amazing fight. Yes, the fight with too. Rachel Weisz, mm -hmm. who was uh, for our viewers Brendan Fraser's on-screen wife. Yes, amazing, amazing, wonderful actress, Rachel. Yeah, my question is, I read somewhere that you really got hurt doing those scenes. Yes, not only the the story of that fight. Originally, the fight was designed to be done by our doubles. Uh, that's that's why we have yeah. masks yeah. in the yeah. fights. Yeah. And what happened is when Rachel and I started training, yeah. we really got into competing with each other, <laughs> against each other. So we trained for two months. We, sometimes we would train seven hours straight. Unbelievable. And what was so beautiful is that it became a choreography. We picked a piece of music. Yeah. And be this wonderful piece of music, and then we worked and worked on this choreography. It, it, we did it so well that they ended up taking the mask off, and it's us doing the fight. I did all of my stunts except except the back flay. And yes, I did get I got hurt in two things. One, I got hurt here. I still have a little. Still bit have of, some scars. I still working, have one huh? scarf, and I um, develop a a fibroid and I had to be taken to the hospital and had immediate surgery, emergency surgery. That took me out of the movie for I think almost three weeks, but it was so worth it. <laughs> great movie, great yeah. job. Now, talking about movies, you're currently in two new productions yes. that you're working on at basically the same time. Uh, what can you tell us about those projects? Well, there was one thing that I understood. I have a daughter and yes. you know what happens is I think being South American and with all the political things that are happening yeah. in my country and also having a foundation, you become a little bit more of thinking, if I'm going to do something and I'm going to go away from my daughter, it has to be something that is extremely meaningful to me. Mm -hmm. That actually creates a difference. So I produced this movie that we did last year called Eternal Ashes that is now in the festivals. Right. Uh, but this one that we're doing now is called Liz in September, that I'm also a producer yeah. in it. And it's based on a play that won the Pulitzer Prize called Last Summer at Bluefish Cove. Wonderful play. So we got the rights to do the adaptation, yeah. and we thought, you know what, let's do it in Spanish. No one has ever done a movie in Spanish that talks about love that can, t love that can take any form, okay. the right to die with dignity. Oof. And then I'm working on another project um, called uh, Fog, uh, and it's about human trafficking, which is all a global thing. Sure they are all connected, but not so much in South America. And I think it's time to yeah. bring it up. Well, the air. Good luck with both of those projects. Thank you. Uh, but let's backtrack for our viewers a little bit mm -hmm. uh, because I know you, you, about your childhood, but you grew up in, in Venezuela and in a Harper's Bazaar article, this is what you said about your childhood. You said, when I was growing up, we had no running water. Mm -hmm. You went on to say, we lived on the 15th floor, so we had to carry buckets of water up the stairs. Yes, it's accurate. We, the elevators hardly worked. And um, when I was... The thing about it is, the first part of my childhood was amazing because yeah. my dad worked, worked in UNESCO. Mm -hmm. So we lived mm -hmm. in Paris for five years and then we lived in Mexico for right. five years. So when we went back to Venezuela, that's when things got a little bit rough. And that's when we ended up in this, in this place. Um, and yes, that was the issue and definitely was probably the seed that was planted in all of our brothers and sisters to go and fight really hard to be successful and create Climb a difference in that. our societies. Education was the only way that we knew how to get out. 
so when I, when I was called, I was in the university and I was also a dancer at 17, uh, I, you know, this scout told me to go and work in Europe and I knew that if I was going to send $30 a month, that was going to pay water for the whole building, That's huge. let alone my family. Sure. So that was the reason why I left and started working. Yeah, but somebody told me the other day, that's how you got your great legs, was climbing up those stairs <laughs> with, the, with probably, the buckets. Probably that, true. That